At £100 here in the UK, these are actually one of the more reasonably priced pairs of golf shoes on sale at the moment. So I think they're going to be pretty popular and there's going to be a lot of interest in them. In this video today, I'm going to give you my full honest review of the Puma Ignite Fasten 8 Pro golf shoes. Now these are a spikeless golf shoe from Puma that currently retail here in the UK for £100. Now in this video, I'm going to try and share everything that you might need to know if you're thinking about buying a pair of these. I'm going to tell you what the sizing's like, how they fit, how they feel, and actually how they perform out on the golf course. Now before we go any further, I've got to address one elephant in the room and that's the fact that here in the UK we call it Puma. <laughs> Whereas the rest of the world calls it Puma. I'm just not calling it Puma. Now the first thing I did just want to cover off is the sizing. Now I'm usually a UK 9 and in these golf shoes I had to go down half a size. So a UK 8.5 fit me great. So if you are thinking about buying these shoes, I would recommend going down half a size. In terms of the fit of the shoe, once you get them on, then they are quite a low cut shoe here. So you've got plenty of space and room around your ankles. Personally, I've got quite sensitive, delicate little ankles. I could wear these straight away. I didn't have any rubbing whatsoever, didn't get any blisters. So straight out of the box, these were nice and comfortable to walk 18 holes in. They actually feel like they're quite a wide fit. Now I wouldn't necessarily say that these are suitable for someone with a wide foot or usually goes with wide fit shoes but with my skinny little size nine feet I would actually say that I felt that there was plenty of room here certainly in this toe box and across the balls of your feet. Another thing as well is that you don't necessarily have the most amount of padding around the ankle and the heel area and it doesn't give the closest lockdown fit so there is a little bit of slip here at the heel that personally I did find even though I went down half a size not to the point that it caused any blisters whatsoever it's just something to be aware of just in case that really really bugs you and you know you really really like your shoes to grip as tightly as possible around the heel. I would say that it still does give quite a nice lockdown fit across your foot because of this Fastenate system. So you can see here that the laces loop into this nylon strapping on the lateral and the medial side of the shoe there and that strapping is connected to the power cage so that's this TPU plastic element and the nylon straps are also connected then I think further into the shoe as well. So when you do them up you do get quite a good lockdown fit. Now, it's not the most lockdown fit shoe that I've ever had. There are certainly other shoes that I've tried before in the past that I feel that have really kind of, you know, pulled in my foot close to the shoe. But it does quite a nice job. So you do have this kind of quite a unique sensation, I would say, where it feels like you've got quite a lot of room. It feels quite flat at the base of your foot as well, but certainly feels like you've got quite a roomy shoe but also does its best efforts to lock your foot down on top as well. Overall, that means that you do get a nice comfortable feeling golf shoe. In terms of the comfort underfoot, and you have got the Puma Ignite foam running right the full length of this shoe, and that is nice and comfortable. Now, it's not quite as soft and squishy uh, as an Adidas Boost material, or even a Nike React for that matter, but it is still nice and comfortable. And as I said, I walked 18 holes straight out of the box and didn't have any problems with these shoes whatsoever. There are a few different color options and designs for this shoe. So with the pro version, you've got this synthetic leather upper here on the shoe. And I've got it here in this black and white colorway. And you've got a little bit of silver here on the cat logo as well as silver on the Puma logo on the heel as well as on the tongue. There's another version of the Fastenate as well. It doesn't have pro at the end of the name of it and it uses a more kind of knitted mesh-like upper on the top instead. As for this upper, it is nice and comfortable, although one thing I did really notice pretty much straight away out on the course is how much it creased across the toe box. You can see there that you do get a pretty significant amount of creasing with this upper on this shoe. Now the upper itself is fully waterproof, so Puma are giving, I think, a one year warranty. However, I did do my full Golf Guy Reviews waterproof test where I poured 300 milliliters of water right the way over the upper of the shoe, including over the tongue and laces, and it did let water through. Now that doesn't bother me too much because I'm not gonna be looking to use this shoe right the way through the year because of this spikeless outsole. So if you're gonna get caught in a shower, you're gonna be absolutely fine, but if you're gonna get caught in really heavy rain, your feet might get a little bit wet if some water gets through that tongue area. Now, if you do like the look of this shoe and you're thinking about buying it, then I have included my affiliate links down below in the description. And if you are finding this video helpful, make sure you smash that like button. If we take a quick closer look at the actual upper and the design of the shoe, you can see here that you've got a few different elements that make up the Fastenate shoe. So first of all, as I said, you've got this synthetic leather upper, but you can see on the toe box area here that you have got what they call the power frame. And so that's some extra material 
there, which gives a little bit of more reinforcement to that upper. Now you've also got the TPU power cage, which you've got here on the lateral and the medial side, again, to help with that stability and structure of the shoe. And actually, if you look closely at the shoe, you do have a slightly different texture on the power frame material compared to the standard synthetic upper. The looks might not be for everyone with this shoe. This is quite a sporty, athletic looking shoe, and it does look just kind of quite long. I suppose it does fit a little bit long as well, but this is an eight and a half. So, you know, that, that's the size of the shoe that I've got here, but it just does have that kind of long, sleek look. One thing that I do really like about the design of the shoe is on the Ignite foam, they've actually got a material coating, which makes it really, really easy to clean. You just get a damp bit of tissue and you just wipe it over and they come up looking brand new like this. So now the really important question, what are they actually like to play golf in? Well, as I mentioned before, they are nice and comfortable with the wider feeling fit, the nice soft upper, as well as that nice soft midsole foam, you're getting a very, very comfortable golf shoe. If we take a closer look at the outsole and you can see Puma are using this hexagonal pattern. Puma have actually used this on a number of their spikeless golf shoes already. So this is nothing new. And actually this hasn't changed for quite a few years now. Interestingly, I've got to admit, on previous versions of the shoe, I haven't really had any problems. I've used them in wet weather before and they were absolutely fine. However, on two of the days when I was out testing these golf shoes, I did slip once on each occasion with these golf shoes. Specifically, it was my rear foot uh, as I was really kind of then transitioning into my downswing. And that's a little bit of a concern for me, but perhaps it's just something that is the way that I swing, the amount of force that I put through the shoe. And perhaps it wasn't necessarily the best of conditions, maybe I was on slightly uneven ground. However, that is a risk that you take when you use spikeless golf shoes. And when specifically you look at these spikeless golf shoes here, I suppose if I was being hypercritical of these shoes, I would say that actually it's not the most aggressive traction pattern on a pair of golf shoes. Certainly if you take a look at something like the Pro SL or even something new we've got here, Let's have a look, we've got the Painter golf shoes here. Painter? Painter. The traction pattern on the Painter golf shoes is actually far more aggressive than it is on the Puma. So that is something to think about with these golf shoes. Now for the rest of the round, I didn't slip whatsoever in these shoes and they were nice and comfortable and gave me great performance. Out on the golf course, I felt that I had plenty of stability. They do feel that they've got quite a nice flat wide base on the shoe. And when you mix that with Puma's new Fasten H system there, you are getting a good lockdown fit and I did feel nice and secure in these shoes. And I certainly felt that I had more than enough stability out on the golf course. Let me know what you think of the new Puma Ignite Fasten and eight pro golf shoes. Are you thinking about picking up a pair? Do you like the looks? Or are you thinking about getting something else? If you are thinking about buying a brand new pair of spikeless golf shoes, why not check out one of my reviews right here? And if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can keep up to date with all my latest reviews of golf tech and shoes right here on Golf Guy Reviews.